There was a whole demi-monde underworld that um, you learnt about and learnt how to behave in um, and how to survive in. It was quite a small world. Um, that whilst there were probably the same amount of homosexual men and women around, lots of people were very closeted. Um, many of the men were married and had families. That was a very common thing. The police were a constant menace. Um, but so was exposure, so was being disowned by your family, so was being bashed. Uh, I was bashed by the police on the riverbank in South Brisbane um, in the company of a, another chap my own age when I was at uni. The punishment for um, sodomy was 14 years, the punishment for manslaughter was seven years so, and that was you know, something that most of us carried in our mind. There was you know, lots of blackmail by people, by the police on occasion. Um, just standover tactics, bullying, extortion, yeah. Many of my compatriots from those days died or committed suicide. Yeah, many. I could, long list of names. You know, there was a teacher whose name escapes me now who was murdered um, later on um, probably the 70s, over at a park in northern Brisbane. That, that, that sort of, for me, that contains the, the beginnings of, of what became, you know, the, some measure of, of acceptance or working together between the police department and, and the gay community. The police really didn't know what had happened and didn't have a clue. And I can remember them coming into the bars begging um, gay men for information about this fellow and, and what might have happened to him and so on. Uh, but, you know, we all knew not to tell them anything because they're a pack of bastards and would use it against you at some stage.